Next, modality. You know, the medical community has really been flocking to the iPhone. Back in March when we launched the beta of iPhone 2.0, we demonstrated Apocrates, which was incredibly well received. In fact, after that, Apocrates went and surveyed its key physicians and found that of those planning on buying a phone in the next 12 months, fully a third plan to buy an iPhone, making it their number one choice. Well, today, we have two more medical apps to show. The first, from Modality, is about creating more physicians. And to talk you through that, I'd like to invite up Dr. S. Mark Williams. Dr. Williams? Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Our lead developer, James Crouch, from the app, and I are thrilled to be here today to share with you one of our learning applications. So medical students typically rely on bulky paper flashcards and atlases to learn the complex names and locations of the structures of the human body. But this is about to change. We started with the gold standard in medical illustrations, the beautiful Netter collection. And using the iPhone SDK, we've created an app that is not only more portable, but also far more powerful than paper flashcards. So let's have a look. A student can easily find a region of the body and they view hundreds of anatomical images. Once they select one of those images, then they can easily zoom and pan across these beautiful and highly detailed images. Imagine doing this on any other mobile device. Simply select. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Simply selecting a pen shows the anatomical structure, and it makes it very easy for a student to jump out to the web and find additional information on that particular part of the body. The app has a simple quiz mode that prompts the user to find a, a structure within an image and provides feedback about whether they're right or whether they're wrong. And we really believe that applications like this will provide unique and new opportunities for effective learning outside of the classroom. And I witnessed this firsthand in my teaching of brain anatomy when a student, after using a prototype of this application, said, Dr. Williams, I learned five new brain terms this morning while I was waiting in line for my latte. <laughs> so the iPhone SDK has enabled modality to provide learners instant access to the content that they trust on the device that they really want to carry. And it's been so easy to use, and coupled with our business and development model, we've been able to produce numerous applications very quickly. Not only medical applications that we're talking about here today, we're also bringing some of the biggest brands in, in K-12 education and consumer reference content. And we're excited to announce that within weeks of the App Store launching, we'll have a dozen applications available and many more by the end of the year. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Our next medical app is from Mim Vista. MimVista is a leading developer of innovative medical imaging software. And the application they're going to show just really demonstrates how absolutely incredible medical applications are going to be on the iPhone. To walk you through it, I'd like to invite up Mark Kane. Mark? Thank you, Scott. Medical imaging involves a lot of data and a lot of interaction. An interface is key to making it all possible. Before the iPhone, developing a mobile solution would have been virtually impossible, and the results, kludgy. As we know from our existing customer base of radiologists and radiation oncologists, it's easy to be caught without access to a workstation, whether across the hospital, at the gas station, or at the golf course. Right now, we're moving through the slices of a fusion study with a one-finger slide, where we have a CT scan showing anatomic data and a PET scan showing metabolic activity. The two-finger slide changes the blending. Think of how a weather map works, where you have geographic data overlaid with temperature. We fuse the two together and present it as a multi-planar reconstruction. Tap View to change the viewing plane so that you can see the data from the bottom from the side, and from the front. Early on, we recognized the potential of the iPhone, and we set out to see if this was even possible. After one week, we had a prototype, a product definition, 
and the excitement propelled us through three more weeks in which Jeremy Brockway here said the SDK let his ideas just fall out without hindrance. Let's zoom in. We can use the pinch, the double tap, and then pan with one finger. Notice the scroll indicator along the right. This area is dedicated to scrolling through slices so that you can do that at any time. The swipe is the quick way to transition between volumes, and when you're viewing a single volume, the two-finger slide changes the contrast, or window and level, an important tool for visualizing such a wide range of data. Let's look at the measurement tool. Touch and drag to position the start of a measurement line, and do the same to complete the line. And that line will remain on that slice until removed, which you can do with a shake. Finally, let's look at the MIP movie. This is a 3D reconstruction ideal for visualizing pet images. Let's change the color for this. Let's choose rainbow. Imagine a doctor sitting with her patient, sharing the images with him iPhone to iPhone, or an oncologist interactively reviewing a radiation treatment plan. The iPhone has created a new direction for our company. We've taken a complex desktop application, removed it from the realm of black art, and placed it in the hands of physicians and patients. And we've only just scratched the surface. Look for MIM at the launch of the App Store. Thank you.